Second Chronicles 5. Thus all the works that Shalom wrought for the house of Yahweh was finished. All the work was finished. And Shalom brought in the things that Dawid his father had dedicated even the silver and the gold and all the vessels and put them in the treasuries of the house of God. Then Shalom assembled the elders of Yisrael and all the heads of the tribes, the princes of the fathers' houses of the children of Yisrael to Yerushalem to bring up the ark of the covenant of Yahweh of to bring up the ark of the covenant of Yahweh out of the city of Dawid, which is Theon. And all the men of Yisrael assembled themselves to the king at the feast, which was in the seventh month. And all the elders of Yisrael came, and the Leviim took up the ark, and they brought up the ark and the tent of appointment and all the holy vessels that were in the tent. These did the priests, the Leviim, bring up. And King Shalom and all the congregation of Yisrael that were assembled to him were before the ark, sacrificing sheep and oxen that could not be counted nor numbered for multitude. And the priests brought in the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh to its place, into the oracle of the house, to the most holy place, even under the wings of the Kerubim. For the Kerubim spread forth their wings over the place of the Ark, and the Kerubim covered the Ark and the staves thereof above. And the staves were so long that the ends of the staves were seen from the ark before the oracle, but they were not seen without. And there it is to this day. There was nothing in the ark except the two tablets which Moshe put there at Horeb when Yahweh made a covenant with the children of Yisrael when they came out of Mithraim. And it was when the priests were come out of the holy place, for all the priests that were present had sanctified themselves and did not keep their courses. Also the Leviim, who were the singers, all of them, even Asaf, Herman, Yudutun, and their sons and their brothers, arrayed in fine linen with cymbals and psalteries and harps, stood at the east end of the altar, and with them a hundred and twenty priests sounding with trumpets. It was when the trumpeters and singers were as one to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking Yahweh. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised Yahweh, saying, For he is good, for his loving kindness endureth forever, that then the house was filled with a cloud, even the house of Yahweh, so that the priests could not stand to serve by reason of the cloud, for the glory of Yahweh filled the house of God. Amazing. Here endeth Second Chronicles chapter 5. Thanks for listening. Yahweh bless you.